Hi, this is Jeff from Boss. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to update the system version on your Katana amp. This applies to all models of Katana amp, the 50, the 100, the 100 212, and Katana head. So to begin with, let's just determine whether you need the update or not. We're going to do a little procedure that tells us what version we're on. And this is for the version 2.02 or later system update. In the event that you do need it, we'll cover how to download it from boss.info as well as how to apply the update to your Katana amp. So let's dive right in. First, we need to determine whether or not your amp needs to be updated. And as we start this process, we're going to first make sure that the amp is off. And then at this point, we'll turn the power switch on while holding down the tap button. Now, if the indicators light up in the following way, your system is on the latest version and you don't need to do anything further. On the Katana 100, 100 watt 212, as well as the Katana head, what you'll see is the following. When you turn power control to the 0.5 watts setting, the indicator for delay slash effects should light up. When you turn the power control switch to the 100 watt setting, the indicator for delay slash effects should also light up. When turning the knob to any other available settings, no lights will light up. This is normal and that means you're on the latest version of the Katana's firmware. If any other lights light up instead of what was just described, that means you're not on the latest Katana system version and you want to update to the latest one. For the Katana 50, you turn the power control to 0.5 watts. Again, the indicator for delay slash effects should light up. When you turn the power control switch to the 50 watt indicator, the light should also light up for delay slash effects. And once again, if the indicators light up in a different way than the way I've shown you in this video, please go ahead and perform this update. Once we're finished verifying the version, we turn off the power. And at this point, we need to download the 2.02 system update for Katana. To do this, we'll first open a web browser, then we'll go to the boss website. The address is boss.info. So you can just go to the top of your web browser to the address bar and type it in like this. Then hit enter or return when you're finished. Now we're on the boss website and we just click on support. Then support by product. And then go down to updates and drivers. We go to the category that includes K for Katana. And we'll click on the Katana head because that's the product we're updating today. But you'll want to pick the download that goes with the product you have. So moving forward, we will click the Katana system program link. And here are the instructions that I've been covering about how to tell the version as well as the procedure for the update. But we're going to cover this in the video. So now at this point, you'll scroll down to the bottom and click I agree. Then you'll click the download file button. And depending on the browser you happen to use, you may see different behavior than what you see on my screen. And just to be clear, I am currently using a Windows machine on the Firefox browser. So if you use Chrome or Internet Explorer, you might have a different behavior that occurs while downloading the file. Just make sure you know where your browser's download folder is set to in order to quickly access the download we just got. So once I've clicked download file, what happened is it's now in my downloads folder. And in this browser, I can just simply click on this downward pointing arrow to see if it's downloaded yet. In this case, it is. And I can just click on it. And you see there's the actual folder. So at this point, we can drag the folder out and drop it onto our desktop to be copied there. Alternately, we can click the downloads button again. Right click the file you just downloaded in the list that pops up and choose open containing folder. Doing this now shows me where this folder is on my desktop, which is where it downloaded. And I can then unzip it by clicking into it. And there's our folder again that we need to extract out of this zip file to be used during the update procedure. Now that you've got that file downloaded, we can move on to the next step in this procedure. Before we go any further, just make sure you're not connected between the amp and your computer via USB yet. And then at this point, you're going to adjust the master knob to the minimum setting. And we're going to turn on the power while holding both channel one and panel tone setting buttons. The next step we'll take in this process is to connect a USB cable coming from our computer to the Katana's USB port. Once you've done that, the indicators for channel one through four will stop flashing and stay lit. At this point, we'll go back to the computer 
and you should now notice a Boss Katana hard drive icon. And once you've confirmed that, just simply double click on the downloaded folder that you got from the Boss website. And as you can see inside, there are two files named katanaarm.bin and rominfo.txt. These are the two files we'll be using to update the Katana AMP. And so at this point, all you need to do is select and drag both of those files and drop them over the Boss Katana hard drive icon. Now it's very important to remember before proceeding any further that you do not want to grab the whole folder that they're inside. You want to grab only the files that are inside that folder. If you do end up grabbing the folder by accident instead of just the files, you run the risk of corrupting the firmware inside and potentially damaging your katana. That's all you have to remember, just get the files themselves, not the folder. So we copy them over. Now that the file copy operation is complete, we can now go to the boss katana icon and click the eject button. And then you can disconnect the USB cable coming from the katana to the computer. The panel button will now flash once you've done that. So what you're gonna do is press panel to start the update process. While the update is in process, the effects indicators light up as you can see here. When the update is finished, the effects indicator slowly flash simultaneously. Now you'll turn the katana off, and this completes the update operation. Next time you turn on your katana, it'll be running the new system program. Upon completion of this update, you'll also want to make sure you're on the latest USB driver for the katana, as well as make sure you update to Boston Studio for katana version 2, or you may find the amp does not seem to be working properly with your computer. We'll